morning Broncos fans this is uh, Noah Husky Hardcore here going to do a really quick video here about uh, last yesterday's game against the uh, Cincinnati Bengals sorry I'm trying to play the computer here uh, the final was 31 to 23 it was a pretty impressive game for the Broncos it actually got scary not really scary there at the end but a little cause to worry is uh, Cincinnati was able to retake the lead late uh, due to turnovers, um, don't like the turnovers. Neither one of them was a great one. Uh, it's hard to place blame on uh, the one to Decker in the end zone. We'll get to that here in a minute when I go through the stats. But it ended up being pretty close. But overall, I mean, you had to feel pretty confident, even though it was a little bit to worry about there. We looked pretty good. I thought we were able to move the ball pretty fine against them, and. Uh, our defense played fairly well after you look at some of the yet net yardage they actually got more yardage than us but I thought our uh, defense didn't do too bad uh, against them there were a couple plays um, long run by Gresham down the sideline where uh, Dalton had to run out and hit him and uh, they had a couple bigger bigger plays but for the most part I thought our defense did pretty well um, We'll go ahead and just get to the stats. I didn't really do any uh, previewing on here or anything. But uh, Peyton Manning was 27 for 35, 291 yards, three touchdowns, and two picks. Um, like I said, it was all around pretty, pretty really good day. Um, high completions, still getting the touchdowns, the two picks. Um, I'm sure he wants them back too, especially. Well, there's not no real especially because both of them were pretty bad. One, we were getting ready to score at least a field goal if we didn't get the touchdown, and the other one was deep in their own end zone. And I believe they scored touchdowns on both of those turnovers. So that kind of made the game a little bit closer. But like I said, uh, our offense got, came together in the fourth quarter and we pulled away. And even though the score was a little close in, I kind of, you had to feel pretty confident that how we were playing, that we were going to be able to do that, especially with how we've been able to play this whole uh, year, season so far in the second half. So, Wes McGay, he had 23 attempts for 66 yards. His uh, longest run was 12 yards for the day, and they, uh, Cincinnati did a pretty good, really good job of stopping the run. Uh, you still have to do it. We were able to break some there late in the game. Like not really break some twelve yards was the longest, but got a little success late late in the game. So uh, pretty good job there by Hill. Ronnie Hillman only one attempt for four yards, and I don't remember seeing too much of him anymore uh, in that game. Which brings me up. I'm probably going to just talk about the game today before I go on to my tangents, and I'll just do other videos, but. Uh, Ronnie Hillman, when we drafted him, he was supposed to be the next Darren Sproles. That's people that they were comparing him to. Then let's use him like Darren Sproles. Um, I know it's hard because we got Stokely in the slot, but Sproles goes out to the slot. He can catch the ball. Um, he's, he's got fast, and if he can make plays downfield, I would, wouldn't mind seeing him uh, playing to the slot. And returning kicks, uh, Holiday had the 105-yard kickoff return today or yesterday and uh, I watched another YouTube video and people were praising on him I'm not going to praise on him too much he's still fumbled the one uh, and the, his first kick in the San Diego game then the uh, next kickoff had that weird spin Lance Ball ended up covering it up at the one yard line um, that's the second time that's happened to us they get in the San Diego game. Uh, some weird spins on the ball. You kick the ball all the way down the field and have it to spin backwards like that. It's pr pretty weird. Uh, but it's happened to us twice this year, and uh, I have a feeling like other teams might try to do that. Best way to get do it is just get to the get to the point and catch the ball. It was a big kick return. I'm glad you did it, but you're you're not off of my uh, shit list yet. <laughs> but. Uh, Going on, Peyton Manning had two carries for negative two yards. Eric Decker, eight catches for 99 yards, two touchdowns. Big game by Decker. Um, liked him ever since we drafted him out of Minnesota. Uh, when we drafted him, it was the same year as we picked Demarius Thomas, and I thought at that time that Decker was going to be a better receiver than Demarius Thomas. Um, it's obvious 
that Thomas, hopefully, if he stays healthy, it's something really good, too. Um, but, I mean, them is a one-two punch, and we're going to have them for a long time to come. Um, I can't say which one's better right now. Probably Decker just because he's been healthier for most of his career. But uh, that's a good one-two tandem to have. Marius Thomas, six catches, 77 yards. Um, kind of got hurt a little bit in uh, the game. Came back. That was nice to see. Uh, Stokely, three catches, 43 yards. Had a drop on a third down, I remember. Dresden had four catches, 38 yards. Tammy, three catches. Ball, one. Hillman, one. And McGahey, one. So Hillman did get a catch uh, besides the, uh, the carry, so... Um, I still would like to see it, if they're going to compare them to Sproles. Then it's not really the Broncos. I guess it's probably the media people. And as you know, I don't think all media people are the smartest people in the world. But uh, boy, if he could be, that would be awesome. If he could, I don't know. If, well, uh, we obviously had some problems returning kicks, and we obviously don't feel comfortable putting him back there to catch because that's we've been having problems with that all year. Um, it would be nice to have some explosion there, but to tell you the truth, how things are looking right now, just keep Leonard back there and make sure we catch the ball and don't turn it over. Um, our offense can move it down the field anyways. So I have uh, uh, offensive stats. I do not have football stats or defensive stats on here. I'm on the Broncos website. Let me see if I can switch it real quick. Yeah, like I said, I thought our defense played fairly well. Von Doomerville had a big game, three sacks. Um, he was able to get back into pressure even times when he didn't get sacks. Uh, pretty good. We did pretty good against the run. Uh, Elvis had seven. Elvis. Then Jarvis Ellis has had. Uh, he had 17 carries for 56 yards. Um, Dalton had two for 16. We 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 shut him down pretty pretty, pretty well there. Uh, Cincinnati uh, did get get some damage through the yards, some big plays. Gresham had a big 52-yard reception. Is that one that uh, down the sideline there that it looked like I'm not for sure that uh, Doomerville was supposed to be playing out in a zone kind of in that little area, and then when Dalton started scrambling, Doomerville chased after Dalton and left him wide open. I'm not for sure. I don't I only saw the play the once and maybe the replay, but it kind of looked like that's maybe what would have ha what happened there. Uh, Green had a better day than I thought. I was one champ to kind of stop him, but uh, seven catches, 99 yards, and the touchdown. And uh, they did throw passes to one, two, three, four. Eight, rece eight receivers caught the ball, uh, receiver slash running back, so they were able to spread the ball around, but overall I thought we did pretty good. Our D backs are looking really good, especially with Porter out. Carter. Again, it's looking really, I mean, he's cutting in front of the balls. And just think where we would be at this year if our corners have been in great positions most all year long. If, and that's probably, they always say that's why defenders play defense because they can't catch. But, man, how many times so far have we had passes that could have been pick sixes that we, we make the cut and, uh, I think there was like two or three in the Atlanta game, which would have changed that game around. Uh, again, yesterday we probably had two, if not at least one, that would have been a pick six if we could have caught it. Uh, but I'm not going to gripe on not catching the ball too much because, I mean, you're you're in good positions. Our corners, and not just our starting corners, our backup corners, our corners in a whole are playing really well. Um, that's going to be really key when it comes. Like I said, this is became a passing league and uh, it's a uh, became a passing league <laughs> no and it's really good to have a lot of a lot of big depth at uh, receiver so that'll be our quarterback so that'll be really big when we come for our playoff push um, now that I'm done looking at stats just real quick uh, Cooper got hurt I don't know how long that he's gonna be out for I haven't checked up on that Ramirez came in, did a pretty solid job. We've seen him come in for injuries in the past, um, so we got a little familiarity with Ramirez. Hopefully, Cooper is all right and uh, can get back sh soon. Um, it's kind of hard to say. 
Besides that, I don't think uh, I remember too many other injuries that, uh, that we have. So we left that good. And the final thing is we, we did leave the game with the win, which puts us a game ahead of the Chargers and now two games ahead of the Oakland Raiders and the Chiefs. We're not going to really have to worry about. Probably don't, I probably don't have to worry about any of I mean, as long as we handle our business, um, and any team can say that, but we have a good shot of not having to worry too much about our own division. And hopefully we can pick up some games on the uh, Patriots and the Texans since they've beaten us. And maybe we got a chance. I definitely think we might have a chance for a first-round playoff bye and heck, you never know. We still might be able to go be in the hunt for uh, home field throughout. So, um, I just wanted to make a really quick one, quick video here today. I'm gonna do plan on making some videos uh, later on this week. Uh, we'll maybe talk a little bit about uh, the injuries a little bit more. Uh, this is the last game we have without DJ Williams. See what prospects maybe we have. DJ is going to come back into the middle spot. Are we going to move him? Uh, somewhere else. He's he's too good of a player, even though I hear people on Bronco Planet talk crap about him a lot. He's a good player. He makes a lot of tackles, and uh, he's got to he he's got to be in there. It would be really nice, especially with the loss of Joe Mays. Trevathan stepped up, and he's done a pretty decent job with Mays out. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more into the future and future video. But I just wanted to get this one done real quick. Pretty, pretty impressive game. Uh, we got Carolina next week, and I'll probably come back out with a video before then. Uh, before I do leave, I do want to give a shout out. Uh, watched a YouTube video this morning um, of Corwin, Corwin's. Um, my thoughts are with y'all. I don't. It's not my business to bring it up, but uh, to talk about it, I don't know if it was him or his brother or something weird happened, but. My thoughts are with you and your whole family, and uh, hopefully you come out with it, uh, everything good. And uh, besides that, we'll just go ahead and try to end this video now before I act like an idiot, and see you all later.